In this video, we'll look at how to use conditional formatting to shade every other row in a table. This is sometimes called zebra striping. In this spreadsheet, we have a table of employees with a minimal amount of formatting. To get shading on every other row, I could just convert this table into a proper Excel table using Control T, and then customize the format as desired. This is a good option, especially if you want the table for other reasons as well. However, you can also apply dynamic zebra striping with conditional formatting and a formula. The classic formula for zebra striping uses the mod function. Mod takes a number and a divisor and then returns the remainder. So if I use the row function without a reference to get the number of the current row, and then use 2 as the divisor, the mod function returns 0 when the row is an even number, and 1 if not. If I copy this formula across multiple cells, you can see that we get rows of 1s and zeros. We can use these results directly in a conditional formatting rule, since 1 and 0 are equivalent to true and false. So to add the striping, I can just create a new conditional format rule based on a formula, then add the formula and set a fill color. If you'd rather shade even rows, just add equals zero to the formula to switch the logic. In later versions of Excel, you can use two special functions, is odd and is even in conditional formatting rules. So instead of the mod function, I could just use is even with row. To shade odd rows, I just need to replace is even with is odd. If you want to shade columns instead of rows, you can just substitute the column function for the row function. Of course, you could add more than one rule to shade both columns and rows. Finally, in case you ever want to create a checkerboard effect, you can use row and column together. The formula is simply row plus column wrapped in is odd or is even. 